Hey, hey, how you doing? Flipped Geometry. We are diving into the next lesson here. 4.6 is about right triangle congruence. The idea here is to take what we've learned about proving triangles congruent in the last several lessons and apply them specifically to right angles. Um, and so we're going to jump right into it and let's get started. With right triangle congruence, basically what you're doing is you're getting an angle for free because we know that it's a right triangle and all right angles are congruent to each other. And so because of that, we already have one angle, which means that really all we need for a right triangle congruence theorem is two other features. So um, side angle side is now called leg leg because we know that this angle is 90 degrees and it's congruent to every other 90 degree angle. So side angle side in the right triangle becomes leg leg. It's really the exact same thing. It's just a special application of side angle side. Um, here, if we have this angle for free and we can know this angle and the hypotenuse, then we have hypotenuse angle. And what that turns into is side angle angle. Okay, so it's again, the exact same thing, just a special application. Um, and leg angle, can become either angle side angle here angle side angle we call this leg angle um, and we can apply that here or we can apply that uh, over here leg angle and we wind up with again side angle angle so um, side angle angle can become hypotenuse angle or leg angle and the leg and the angle don't have to be adjacent so this is just really the exact same congruence theorems. It's just being applied to a right triangle that makes it special. So let's run through these theorems. The leg-leg theorem says that if the two legs of one right triangle are congruent to the two legs of another right triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Okay, that's the formal description of it. And again, you can just see if I have a leg and another leg that are congruent to two legs of another right triangle, I get these angles for free. So I have side angle side or in a, in a right triangle, we call it leg-leg. And the hypotenuse angle theorem is the same thing as angle angle side or side angle angle. Um, if the hypotenuse and an acute angle of one right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and the corresponding acute angle of another right triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So uh, you have this angle for free, get any of the other angles and the hypotenuse and you have congruent triangles. And lastly, leg angle theorem. If a leg and an acute angle of a right triangle are congruent to the corresponding leg and acute angle of another right triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So this is angle side angle, um, wearing the right triangle costume, okay? Uh, and so again, you have the other angle and a leg. It can be the one in between, or it could have been this one. It doesn't matter. Um, if you have a leg and an angle on a right triangle, you have congruent triangles. This last one's a little different. We said before that there's no such thing as angle side side, right? You can't say that word. Um, but the then the right triangle universe, you can. And the reason is that if this angle is fixed at 90 degrees, and I have this side and the hypotenuse, then I can only draw one triangle because um, I, the, the geometry will control this side length and, uh, and all the angles will have to be the same. Right triangles are the only place where side, side angle or angle side, side can work. And it has to be that you have the hypotenuse and a leg and then the 90 degree angle. So this looks like angle side, side, but we're gonna call it hypotenuse leg. So if you have the hypotenuse and the leg of one right triangle and the hypotenuse and the leg of another right triangle, then you have congruent triangles, okay? So here's a proof that we could do together. Um, I've got a, a, an isosceles triangle, ABC, and I have a, a line going from the vertex to the midpoint of the base. So given isosceles triangle ABC with BA congruent to BC, the two sides here are congruent, that's the definition of an isosceles triangle, and M is the midpoint of AC, I want to prove that A, M, B, and a C, M, B are congruent right triangles. So um, how would we do that? Well, let's just talk it through. Um, we have here congruent sides, and I'm looking at these two triangles. What do they share? 
they share line BM, right, or segment BM. And so BM here is in both triangles. So I could say that BM is congruent to itself, and that is the reflexive property of congruence. And then I look down here and I see angle one and angle two. Well, if this line comes down and divides the, uh, the, seg the segment here in, in half in an isosceles triangle, that's a perpendicular bisector, right? BM and AC um, are at right angles. So because they're at right angles and this is a perpendicular bisector, I have angle one congruent to angle two because all right angles are congruent to each other. And I was told that AM and MC um, are congruent. Well, I would have to say that they're congruent because M is the perpendicular or uh, M is the midpoint. So I have lots of information. I could go a couple of different ways. I could actually just use side, side, side. I've been told that these are congruent. I've been told this is the midpoint. So I could say that this is congruent to this and this is itself and I could use side, side, side and be done. But we're using right triangle stuff, right? So let's just use uh, hypotenuse leg here. I've got a right angle and I've got two, um, I've got two congruent segments and this is itself. So let's use hypotenuse leg and you could do that. Um, and so these are different ways of looking at right triangles. And you're actually going to have this exact diagram in your homework. So you can play with that a little bit there. If you have any questions, let me know tomorrow when we see each other in class. Or you can put them in the comments field below and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. Until then, God bless you. Jesus loves you. And so do I. Good night.